Hi. Thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me again today. As promised, this will be the softly spoken version of my makeup application video. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the descript- I'm sorry, in the comments, <laughs> and I will link anything I feel like I didn't mention in the description. Have a very peaceful, pleasant day. I always start with my Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. I feel like they do a great job taking off all of my makeup that perhaps um, cleaning my face didn't. And it's very gentle on skin. It doesn't burn my eyes or my skin or leave me feeling dry or oily. So I highly recommend these. Especially eye makeup, I feel like makeup remover doesn't always do a good job removing eye makeup. I'm now using my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And I apply that all over my face, to down my neck. This is another product that is really great at not leaving you feel feeling oily. I will say that it does take a little bit to dry, which is why I'm accelerating it there. This is an hourglass face primer. I don't always use a primer unless I'm going out for the night or may need my makeup to not fade all day, but figured I could just use it for the video to show. I usually apply it right to my face with the spatula that comes with it, and then I'll just rub it in with my fingers. All over and down on my neck a bit. I don't love primer because usually there's um, at least a little bit of oil in it just to create that barrier between skin and makeup. But this is my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Makeup Foundation. I'm using it in shade 70. I don't usually apply it to my face with a q-tip, but I'm running very low, <laughs> so I need to get some more. Actually, a few things in this video I'm running very low on, so. This makeup is great. It's easily buildable. I usually um, use it in a light to medium coverage, but it's easily buildable to a full coverage foundation, if that's the look that you like. It's also nice because, like the name says it is skin clearing, so there is some acne and blemish fighting stuff in there. <laughs> I'm using a flat head dense brush to blend it in, and I blend it into right up in, on my ear so that there's no lines, and also onto my neck in a hairline. One of my biggest pet peeves is having lines on my makeup. It almost looks like a face over your face. <laughs> it's not something I enjoy having. I'm going to go in with my concealer, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I put that 
right under my eyes and on any problem spots that I may have and I blend that in with a beauty blender this particular beauty blender is not by the brand beauty blender I believe I got it at CVS or Walgreens but basically what it is is just a makeup sponge that is shaped conveniently so that you may blend and apply makeup I take the concealer with the beauty blender to the top of my eyelid to act as a primer for my eyeshadow which works great and is a good alternative to buying a separate eyeshadow primer after this I will usually put a liquid highlighter on but I'm completely out of my liquid highlighter so I did not use it for this video now waiting for that to set I will start in my eyes and to start there I always start on my brows this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder brow duo in dark brown and I just followed the natural line of my eyebrows just to fill it in give it a little more sharp look I've never had great eyebrows um, I don't have that like fancy arch or really high arch that everybody does but I have to work with what I have so I try not to alter it too too much just enhance it is what makeup does anyway I then will go into my Z palette which is a great product that allows you to depot any makeup that may be in a packaging so that you can store it all together or travel with it I'm going to be using a wet n wild nude shimmery eyeshadow with a fluffy eyeshadow brush by real techniques I tend to try to use nude colors or shimmery nude colors on my eyelids it brightens up my eyes a bit I don't like to go too dark usually on my eyes because it tends to make my eyes look very small going in with a fluffy brush to a darker matte color and just going along my crease and the outside of my eyelids and blending that in I'm definitely not a professional at putting on makeup this just seems to be what has worked for me in the past so that's what I'm showing you my lines for the eyeshadow are definitely not perfect but that's okay because I will go in with concealer after this and freshen up the lines a bit bring the crease all the way in and just blend it lighter as it gets closer to the middle and inside of my eye and here is the concealer just to sharpen up the lines I'll put it right underneath and blend it in with my ring finger also bring that right above my eyeshadow to create more of a shape a lot of blending that goes on <laughs> with eyeshadow I'm 
This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. They do have a cream contour kit as well. I'm not the greatest at contour and I feel like powder is a little more forgiving, so that's what I use. This is the highlighter shade. It's a bit shimmery and I use that on my brow bone. Just to brighten up my eyes a bit. And now I will use my favorite mascara, which is my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. I'm also almost completely out of this, so I really need to go shopping. Um, this is the best mascara that I've ever used. It is a little bit pricey, but as somebody who wears makeup nearly every day, it's important to have good products that you like to wear and that work for you and are good quality. I apply that to my top and bottom lashes. If I could choose just one makeup product to use, it would be mascara. There's just something about it that pulls the look together no matter what you have on. I'm now using a dense blush brush and I'm going to go in with the yellow shade, which is to mimic banana powder, if you know what that is. And it's to set and highlight my concealer. Now I'm going to find my angled face brush and use these two bronze colors as a contour. And I'll start at the top of my ear, just below my temple, and bring that down. And a good guideline I've heard is if you suck in your cheeks show you the the hollow and that's where you should put the contour and basically if you don't know contour is just supposed to create the illusion of a shadow so that your cheekbones appear to be higher I'm definitely not a master contour artist I'm using my tapered face brush to use the same two bronze colors mixed together. I'm just going to go around the outsides of my face to create more of a shadow as to create a highlight inside of the shadow. I also go along my chin. I'm going to take that same dense blush brush that I used for the yellow powder to go in with pink highlighter shade and again cover right under my eyes on my chin down my nose and right up on my forehead I'm taking a very thin dense brush in those same two bronze shades that I've been using and just putting a very small line directly underneath my lip to again give the illusion of a shadow to make it seem like I have fuller lips. <laughs> I bring the contour with the same color and the same brush right up on my nose 
Some people can make their nose completely change shape with this. I have a very prominent bump <laughs> in my nose. I'm not sure if you guys could tell. Um, but so I just, um, I do it anyway, even though I'm not exactly sure if it changes the shape or just adds a little bit more of a highlight there. This is my favorite blush. It is NARS. The color is called Deep Throat. I didn't name it. Um, I use a very fluffy, light um, blush brush by Real Techniques and just dip it in to get some product and apply it straight to my cheekbones right above my contour. Then take this highlighter, which is actually a blush by Hard Candy, which is, I believe, exclusively at Walmart. I'm not 100% sure, um, which I actually don't go to very often, but I'm more of a Target girl. <laughs> but uh, they are good for this highlighter, at least. I apply that with a stipple brush right above my eyes, eyebrows, on my cheekbones, and take a bit on my ring finger for my cupid's bow going to go in with a very nude shade of lip liner and just line my lips naturally the way that they are. This will just give a good guide as to where to put the lipstick and also will keep it from running. I've decided to use the on Fire Red by Maybelline and I apply that directly to my lips you don't need very much it's a very pigmented shade I just use one or two swipes and then fix any lines that may have gotten out Go back in with that same highlighter and reapply and that's the look this is also my uh, beauty pose I'm not quite sure <laughs> what I'm doing here but anyway I hope that you've enjoyed it this video and I hope to see you again soon sometime have a very peaceful Listen.